people who like to gather intel or play spies on other people's lives often cost themselves and that they don't really have the rights to do so. The liars of America always slip in the tongue, meaning they don't pay attention to their slips. They often say something that they shouldn't say. They often put something forward in some way that gets them caught in their lies. This morning I had an awkward moment with an old woman who claimed to be 81. By the way she approached me, by the way she interacted with me, I could tell her, tell you 100% she was lying to me. And openly I rejected her $2. Anytime an old woman has come up to provide me $2, the very next day I'm losing more beard. And I don't like that because I feel as an American citizen, I have the right to lay myself down, whether it's in my home, on a park bench, or someplace out at an event, and if I fall asleep, I expect that my face, my body, and my things will be left alone. But the liars of America think they can pay their penance in advance or do something that is really misfortunate for someone else's life without thinking about what it's going to do to their life when they're caught. You see, everybody wants to create a criminality or a criminology for their life, but the bottom line is what they're doing is actually creating a lot of strife in someone else's life. The liars of America are not pleasing to God. They always have a tell sign where they've actually told who they are. The woman who came at me this morning asked her where she was from, and she said, Fishers. And then she went back to Fisher, and I said, where is that? She said, oh, uh, 20 minutes away from here. I didn't really believe her because I feel like she was listening to my show, talking about an area in which I once lived in a different state. And it's not like there aren't consistencies of message where people have different cities and different states where they have the same names. And I've even been to different towns where they've had signs of people who are, frankly, people I was expected to be betrothed to. I've been to several towns where the children's sign of that actual child who belongs to the love of mine was there, or her sign, meaning the actual street sign that said her name, and it was actually that road or that street. But openly, the people that we meet along the way in life are the ones that are most important to us in terms of our growth and in terms of their growth together.